Many thanks to Jerb, Jaren, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Great Poncho, and Black Knight for making this video possible. Artillery strikes are even more dangerous than we first imagined because they sometimes give no warning at all that you're about to get literally shreked from above. So in this video, I'm going to go over the details of avoiding these deadly gas clouds if you get randomly hit by one, and explain the mystery of why there's sometimes no artillery sound warning before your impending doom. <laughs> get everybody on the same page here, let's start with the basics. When an artillery strike is going to hit an area, a red flare will appear above the area for 15 seconds. When the flare disappears, the artillery sound can be heard, and then one minute after this artillery sound, the gas gets dropped, which will remain there for about 35 minutes before it fades away. Unfortunately, if it's daytime, you most likely won't see this flare, and if you're not in a certain position on the map, you won't hear the artillery sound either, meaning you won't get any warning sounds at all, and you'll just hear this sound, which already means it's too late. Here are all of the positions these random artillery strikes can occur, and all of these strikes are 120 meters in radius from the exact position that the flare can be seen, or 240 meters across. It takes a minimum of 17 seconds to sprint 120 meters, which means if you're in the center of this area, you are guaranteed to get hit by the gas because it takes 15 seconds for this gas to reach the floor. Now in reality, you will need time to look up to see where the center is so you can actually run in the correct direction. Then because you're in an area of obstacles, you will need time to get around these obstacles to escape. In just 20 seconds of exposure to the gas, you will generously be gifted the disease that can kill you in less than 20 minutes, gas poisoning. Even while this poor survivor was in a truck, they ended up dying as they couldn't escape the gas in time in a freaking truck. If you don't want to risk dying by running out of the town, you can go above the gas because the gas zones are only 7 meters in height from the center of the gas zone, so any two-story building will be enough to avoid the gas. However, you should get comfortable because the gas zone will be here for 35 minutes, and if you happen to be at Tizzy near this underground bunker, the bunker will not protect you because the gas zones go 10 meters underground too. If you do get gas poisoning, which is probably going to happen, you will die without the cure, which is a pox injector, or the blood of you, or a person that has not been in the gas. Artillery was first introduced in patch 1.13 of Experimental, but was later added in DAISY 1.14. While it was in 1.13, I did some testing to discover that the sound originated from the southwest corner of the map, traveling 13 kilometers at the speed of sound, or all the way to Kami before it couldn't be heard. In 1.14, however, on all servers, the artillery sound can only be heard if you're within 3 kilometers of the north of the map or 3 kilometers of the west of the map, if you're within 13 kilometers of the northwestern corner of the map. So only this highlighted area here will you hear the sound of artillery and get the warning of artillery. And even then, it's not guaranteed. For example, each one of these gas strike locations is assigned the artillery sound from either the north of the map or the west of the map, never both. To demonstrate this, the tents at the very southwest of the map will always play a sound from the west of the map, which you will only hear if you're within 3 kilometers of the west side of the map. So if you're anywhere within this strip, you will hear the artillery for the strike in this location, meaning that the strikes are not localized and anybody within this 39 square kilometer area will hear the artillery sound. However, and this is um, this is a bit of a doozy, even though Lopatino is within this western area, it has been assigned the artillery sound from the northern strip only, which means you only hear an artillery strike on Lopatino if you're inside the northern area of the map, which is really strange. My point here is, even strike locations inside the highlighted area where you can potentially get warnings of incoming strikes are not only not guaranteed to give you warnings, but even if it does, it could be a strike many kilometers away from you. To summarize everything I just said into one sentence, we don't know shit about fuck when it comes to these artillery warning sounds. Which opens up a very interesting discussion on whether or not there should actually be warning sounds at all. Maybe the system is intentional to not give us a warning or make the warnings unpredictable yet present. Maybe it's a bug, maybe it's not intended to work this way, I don't know. Whichever the case, your opinion on this is going to shape how artillery works in the future. Should we be warned? And if so, how should that warning be presented? I'd love to hear your ideas and I'm sure the devs would too. All we can really do to prepare is to memorize all of these locations where a strike can potentially happen and be on alert in these towns where a strike might randomly happen at any moment. 
If you are a victim of one of these random strikes, look up to see where the center of the gas is and run away from it as fast as possible. But if you believe you can't make it out of the town in time, climb up and you should be able to survive. As a safeguard against the very deadly gas poisoning disease which can kill you in around 20 minutes after 20 seconds of exposure, carry either a pox injector or a clean full blood bag on you at all times to cure yourself. And if you don't know what I mean by clean full blood bag, this video explains it. Now although this video you're watching right now is just minutes long, it took over 150 hours of staring at towns waiting for strikes to happen to gather this data, so a like or a share would be appreciated as it gets it out there and helps people understand how deadly gas strikes are in DZ, and also gives them a surviving chance against these random ones that will probably happen to you at some point. Thank you for watching and remember to share your view on artillery strikes below.